Okay, this is part 19 of my Python game programming series tutorial. So what we're going to do in this lesson, we'll continue setting up the track scene like this. And we're going to add a little bit of lighting to the scene here so I can see it. Normally have, I have all these individual point lights in the scene like that because it kind of gives it a nice dynamic effect and it makes the scene look nicer. But if you start getting a really big scene and you have a lot a lot of lights that really will affect the performance of your game and so we'll address that in a future issue by changing that into a an image map but we won't do that right now so what we will do is we're just going to scale this up for the moment and make it much bigger and you see if whoops if I wanted to you know use that if I even wanted to put a bunch of individual lights to put that effect everywhere suddenly I'm adding a lot of lights to the scene so I'm gonna just for the moment I'll add a uh, I'll add a light just a regular hemisphere light to the scene I'll tone it down a little bit all right so I at least have a simple light in the scene like this so I can see everything all right and then there's our giant space like this now what we want to do is we want to go back and uh, track this icosphere before what we had done associated with this cube object we had the code in here for cube object and what it was doing remember up here we have ch uh, check the mouse position so we had a routine here was in main and then I have a routine a method called check the mouse position and within check the mouse position here I said if mouse position 0 is greater than 0 0.5 move it in the negative Z direction along the global axis false means the global axis here so the reason that works is because mouse position with an index of zero this is an array index zero means the X direction and these mice are mapped between zero to the left and one to the right so when my mouse is halfway there that's the 0 0.5 position that I'm checking so when the mouse is passed halfway across the screen then it's going to move the echosphere in the global uh, Z I mean the global Y direction and since Y was this way negative Y was that way so if I press P and move the mouse it takes off like that well that's kind of that's okay except there's one thing we have to change a couple things we have to change is one is I want to use this instead of uh, the global I want to use it locally so no matter which way my icosphere is facing like for instance let me scale this a little bit in the Y direction so maybe this is going to be our vehicle and I'm going to scale it on Z like that so this is our vehicle in the scene and it's pointing that way well at some point if I'm moving it around the track and I happen to rot rotate it like this then that's the direction I wanted to move is like that however you'll notice if I've press P and move it it still moves it down the global axis but you can see my local axis now my local Y positive here is there my negative is there so when I use these kind of commands for the apply movement I want to turn this into true and this turns this into the local axis so maybe I'll put in this command you know a little command move along the local axis like that so I know using using true just so you know what true is all about alright so that'll be one thing that we have to do and the other thing is now I wanted to move based on you know I wanted to move say in that direction but I'm wanting to move forward when my mouse moves forward and back not when it moves left and right so it's kind of backwards the way this is set so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to mouse position 1 so mouse position 0 is for the X direction that's checking mouse position 1 is for the Y direction so it's going to check between here and here for this so that'll be the first thing and then the other thing is I want to check it in the other direction so let me put another command down here and this command is called so up there we have if the mouse position is greater than halfway or we're going to say else if that means this is a shorthand command in Python means else if so else if the mouse stop position one is less than 0 
with a and with a colon, and then I'll just copy this here. like that and I'll apply it in the negative direction I mean in the positive direction but let's actually make these smaller values now let's make that 1.0 and let's make this negative 1.0 like that so now we should be moving forward and backwards I'll zoom out like this as I move the mouse right and left all right, so I mean, as I move it forward and backwards now, this should go forward and backwards on the local Z axis. So I'll press P. All right, so there it is there. Whoops. Oh, so I have it in reverse. So I'm going the wrong way. Okay, so, so well, actually, that's not a bad thing because basically, really what I want is let's just rotate this again. Let's rotate it so forward is positive. All right, so now positive Y is this direction like this and so now when we move it up like this I press P there's forward and there's backwards like this alright so now I'm controlling it like that and then the other thing I want to be able to control is I want to be able to control the direction left and right and so in that case what I'll do is come down here and let's see so now I'm just going to copy all this here just for a second. I'm going to make copies down here and then I'm going to check along the x-axis this time. I'm going to say down here I'm going to put a comment uh, rotate vehicle when mouse moves left or right all right, that'll be the one thing, and then I'll put that up in here too. And I'm going to say, move vehicle forward or backwards. All right, like this. So then, in this case, instead of doing apply movement, I'm going to have to do apply rotation. All right, so this will be rotation. and this will be a rotation like this and then I'm going to rotate it on the local Z axis so these are still true so these are going to go to zero like that that'll go to zero like this that'll stay true but my last one is going to be we'll just make it really small say say point now this is going to be in radians so it's not a degree angle so if you do not not familiar with radians I have a video posted and if you just type in under my channel search for just what is a radian there's a video it'll teach you about radians because when you do these rotations within blender you have to do radians radians are just another angle of measure just like 45 degrees well 45 degrees would be the same as 0 0.785 radians Right, and 90 degrees would be the same as like 1.57 radians. It's just another, but you have to go watch that video if you're not familiar with that, because these are the values that I use in here. So I'm going to rotate these on. I'm just going to pick a small value of, because uh, this works pretty fast. I'm going to make it really small, say point, well, maybe 0 0.01 radians, and in this case, a negative. 0.01 radians. All right, so this is saying if the mouse position, so when I'm moving it right, now I'll go the other direction. I'm going to make that negative. I'm going to make that positive. All right, like this. So now let's go look at the scene real quick. And I'll press P and let's see if that's actually working. So there's, whoops out of the scene forward and backwards oh I must have a bug because it's not working okay let me see part of it's working let's go get the console let's see what it says what I do apply rotation true line 82 invalid syntax I, oh I must have forgot something okay let's see what I did what I do apply rotation oh I see it right there I forgot this closing bracket all right, 
So we'll go full screen on this. All right, so now I press P. So he's forward and backwards. And now you notice, see, oh, let's see, It'll go back to the scene. If I'm moving right, it's moving right. <laughs> so we're going to fix this up in the next lesson so we have some more control. But you can see forward and backwards and then left and right. All right, so that, we, that gives us the basis of it. You can change those values for <laughs> zooming along like that. All right, so we'll, we'll start cleaning it up in the next lesson. All right, and I'll see you then.